41. Calculate the equilibrium constant at 25 degrees Celsius for each of the following reactions from the value of the delta G notch given. Okay, so we have I2 solid plus Br2 liquid yields 2 IBr gas with a delta G of 7.3 kilojoules at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, we want to find that equilibrium constant. And remember, the, an equilibrium constant is K. Now, they didn't specially tell me, you know, what specific K value that they want. It doesn't really matter here because there's only one uh, formula that links equilibrium constants with Gibbs free energy or free energy, right? There's two variations depending on which one you're solving for, but in this case, we're solving for the equilibrium constant. So it's easiest to just mem memorize the formula as this. K equals E, the inverse of LN, raised to the negative delta G over RT. So for solving for K, that means we should know these three variables. So let's start with the R value. The R value is a constant number. R is always going to be 8.314. Now, that's the one I like to use, right? I don't like to use any other variation. I like to just keep it a standard R value for this uh, ca calculation. And the units for the R is joules per mole times Kelvin. So this kind of tells you what units are allowed. So for example, if we go back up to our Gibbs free energy, it has to be in joules because the R value is in joules. But uh-oh, they gave me kilojoules. But that's okay. I can convert kilojoules into joules. Kilojoules into joules, all we got to do is just multiply by 1,000, move the decimal over three times to the right. So this would just be 7,300 joules. And that's the value that goes up in the top. The only other variable is the temperature. Well, they told me that it was 25 degrees Celsius. But according to the R value, I have to have Kelvin. So I just have to quickly convert Celsius into Kelvin. And that's easy, right? It's plus 273. More specifically, it's 273.15. So if I just add those two up, room temp, 25 degrees Celsius is 298.15 Kelvin. We have all the variables, so let's just write it out. Equilibrium constant equals the E button raised to the negative something. So let's see, the negative 7,300 divided by the two numbers, right? We got the 8.314 on the bottom, and we have the 298.15 also on the bottom. So what I would do is I would just simplify this fraction first, right? I would just go on the, the calculator and I would say negative 7,300 divided by 8.314. Now, since I'm not using parentheses and the 298 is also in the denominator, I'm going to press divide. So I'm going to divide by 298.15. Enter. And that's the simplified version. I don't want that. There we go. So now I have my equilibrium constant equal to E raised to the negative, and then a bunch of numbers, 2.9449, yada, yada, yada. Remember, don't round until the end. So I'm not going to round that number because what I'm going to do next, the E value, I'm just going to take that full number. So I'm going to say, E, which is second LN, and then I'm just going to pull that whole number there, just like that, and then press enter, and there you go. Two sig figs, because that's what the delta G value was, so I'm only allowed two sig figs. I can put this in scientific notation, you don't have to if you don't want to, but this would be 5.3 times 10 to the, what do we got, negative 2? Or you could have said, you know, 5.0, uh, sorry, 0 0.053. It would be the same exact value. And you're done. That's the end for this one. What'd you think? I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Love helping you guys out. Um, I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. I'll be helping you with another problem. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.